We've got some brand new tasty Marvel Phase 4 leaks and I gotta say, I'm getting pretty pumped about this what if stuff and you're gonna see why. It's like the news, but for nerds. Say shout out goes to Mike Wilson, although Ray and Leia Hugging Planet is not the actual name of the new jungle planet, I thought it was hilarious. So you get a shout out. Make sure you stay at the end of this video where we will ask another nerd card question. What's up everybody? Happy Wednesday to you. I'm Josh. Welcome back to the den and man oh man do we got some juicy Marvel Phase 4 leaks to go over today. But before we get into that I just want to let everyone know earlier this morning we dropped a video all about why Spider-Man being over at Sony is actually a good thing. Nani? So go check out that video. It's your homework. I'll know if you didn't watch it. Okay, so we've got some really cool stuff to talk about today. There were some new leaks, some Marvel leaks about the Phase 4 show, What If. Now, if you don't know what the What If show is, it is literally what they did in Marvel Comics with the What If comics, except it's going to be happening on Disney+. Plus, and the show is going to be an animated show. There will be one show done for every movie within the MCU, and each one of these episodes will take a What If if type of twist. It's worth noting here too that all of the MCU actors that were actually in these movies will be reprising their role as the voice actors for this animation. Now I saw this pop up in the Marvel spoilers subreddit but it links to Twitter leaks that are coming from a Twitter account called Cosmic. So let's start with my favorite images here and I'm going to go through all the images and break down what I think is going on in them. So this is kind of like speculation here but here we go. Okay so the first two images and again these are my favorite two all have to do with Star Lord and it reveals that Star Lord is actually going to be T'Challa. So I believe the what if here will be like what if the Black Panther was Star Lord or what if T'Challa was Star Lord. And the way I'm thinking about this is this will be the one episode of what if that will deal with Guardians of the Galaxy and I'm just super intrigued by this. I mean there's so many questions. Number one like what the heck is T'Challa running from his family? What's up with Wakanda? Is he like the reluctant hero, sort of not wanting to be the prince that he is. I'm also curious on what his power set is. Like, does he have the Black Panther powers as Star-Lord? That would be pretty awesome. I'm also thinking about how the music in here and the stuff that um, T'Challa, not Peter Quill, is going to be listening to might have a little bit more of a hip-hop influence. If, you know, obviously T'Challa being African-American or I guess just African in the comics, depending on how they do this, maybe he'll have some hip-hop kind of introduced and sprinkled through out in the Guardians of the Galaxy vibe, that could be really cool. Either way, this is just really intriguing here, and I think this is just some of the spice and flavor that we will be getting from the What If series. So those are the first couple of images and my favorite out of the bunch. All right, next up, we're gonna take two images that we think are linked together, although we have really no way of knowing for sure. And this will start with this image here of the Winter Soldier. Now this is Bucky Barnes, looks pretty cool. Not much to glean from this image, but the other image is of a zombie Captain America. And this image is amazing. It sort of hints at the Marvel zombies thing that they might be introducing. And it's really hard to say here exactly which MCU film will be if, you know, the what if for Marvel Zombies, but I'm sort of thinking that it could be the Winter Soldier. What if Captain America is seeking out Bucky Barnes much like he was before, but then a zombie outbreak happens? And what if Steve Rogers is turned into a zombie while trying to protect Bucky or something like that, and then Bucky turns from his Winter Soldier bad guy vibe into some kind of an anti-hero because of the zombie outbreak? I mean, that would just be freaking amazing. But either way they do it, the Marvel zombie story being sort of a what if scenario in one of the MCU films is very intriguing to me. Seems pretty dope. Now the next two set of images are skinny Steve Rogers with some kind of light glowing over him. And then we see Peggy Carter in front of this group of soldiers. And it sort of looks like she's gonna be Captain America in this scenario. And we know this because this is one of the what ifs that we know the most about. We do know that it'll be what if Peggy Carter was Captain America. So something's gonna be happening here in this version version of Captain America the first Avenger where Steve Rogers does not become Captain America and instead Peggy Carter becomes Captain America so not really sure how that's going to work exactly I'm really interested to see it I think Haley Atwell is a great 
actress. It'd be awesome to hear her voice in this thing again, the chemistry and the love between her and Captain America, I think is just something that MCU fans really hold in a high regard. So it'll be very cool to see what they do with this series, but this is just a sort of tease at what we'll be looking at when this happens. And I think when it comes to the series, I'm interested in what Steve Rogers is going to do, even though he doesn't become Captain America, because he goes to fight because he wants to make a difference. I don't really see this guy just taking a back seat, and I'm really interested in how his arc would go with Peggy becoming Captain America. And even though Peggy as Captain America might be sort of the focus of the show, I'm just personally more interested in like, what does Steve do in this scenario? Is it possible that Steve becomes the Winter Soldier in this episode of What If? Hmm, the possibility. All right, last and certainly not least, we have a couple of images here which we think will kind of be from Iron Man 1. And it's really hard to say what's going on in these images, but there's two images, one with what appears to be Steve Rogers poking his head out of sort of a mech device here. And then we see Steve Rogers, although it's very blurry, we can assume this is Steve Rogers on the back of an Iron Man-like mech, but he's got the Captain America shield. And I saw a lot of people speculating on like Reddit and Twitter about how this could be a version of of Iron Man 1 where Cap doesn't go into the ice, maybe he's just around still, and Howard Stark invents the Iron Man suit because the war continues or something crazy like that. Because this kind of looks a lot like the Mark I that Tony makes in the desert, but there's a lot of things to be confused about here. Like, what's going on? Is Captain America going to be Iron Man? Is he gonna be Captain America and Iron Man? Is this all tied into the Peggy Carter as Captain America movie? Is it possible that Steve Rogers becomes Iron Man when Peggy becomes Cap? Like. Wow, what the heck is actually going on with these images? But those are the images, guys, and those are sort of the conversations that people are having about these images. What do you think about all of this? What intrigues you the most out of these images? Which MCU movie are you most looking forward to getting the what if treatment? Give us like your any and every thought in the comment section below. Oh, and also to be fair, I did see some people online kind of complaining about this animation style. They wanted it to be a little more hardcore, but I don't know. I actually really like this animation style and, and I will say this, too it's very hard to judge animation based on stills like you need to see the fluidity of the actual animation how the mood the lighting the textures all work together to create sort of the mise-en-scene i'm a big big fan of animation i just love it as an art form so for me like i'm not bummed about this animation style but i do know that's a conversation being had out there so feel free to give your thoughts about that as well so frankly i'm pumped man i'm really looking forward to what we're getting in what if i think this might be a sleeper hit for the mcu and it's so interesting to me because I'm actually working on a few DC videos right now and sort of talking about some of the problems that were created by them not having a really well-established foundational universe. But on the flip side of that, when you look at the MCU, this is one of the benefits of having an awesome, well-established canon. We can now get a What If series, play around, introduce all these really cool ideas, and the fact that we have the Bedrock Foundation is such an important piece of this puzzle. It allows allows us to suspend our disbelief, enjoy these news stories, and realize that they not only are not real because the, the main storyline focus is there, but they're actually enhanced in their entertainment quality because of all this attachment and all of this time that we have invested in this big thing called the MCU. So just one more example of how Marvel is just killing it. Even this just little phase for what if animated show is probably gonna be some of the best animated stuff you've ever seen if you're a big Marvel fan. Now let's check the nerd card before we get out of here. I wanna know what is the group of soldiers called that does hang out and fight side by side with Captain America in World War II? The group that's seemingly led by Happy Hogan. Yeah, what's the name of that group in the comic books and in the Captain America movie? Answer that question in the comment section below. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and I'll see you in the next video.